My name is Diana and I'm one of the nurse practitioners in the gastroenterology office at Albert Einstein Medical Center. Congratulations on taking the important step in scheduling your colonoscopy procedure. Now it's the day before your colonoscopy. It's important that you already have your clear liquids ready. Okay? You have received both verbal and written instructions from the office and now it's time to put it into action. You're going to need different types of fluids. As long as they're clear liquids, that's really all you need. You don't want to have anything that is red. You don't want anything that is purple. You don't want any alcohol. And certainly, you don't want any solid foods. Very, very important. You can have Gatorade as long as it's clear. Here, I have lemon flavored uh, Gatorade. I have um, ginger ale. I have water. Water is an important piece. And you can also have iced tea. Besides your clear liquid diet, you're also going to need your Go Lightly. Sometimes this is called uh, New Lightly, sometimes it's called uh, Cold Lightly. Um, you're going to make sure you pick that up from the pharmacy two days before your procedure so that it, you can be ready the day before. Okay. Once you're ready in the morning, first thing you're going to do is make sure you add water to your bottle. Okay, there is go there's going to be powder in here. You're just gonna need to add water where it's indicated you stop. Okay, you don't fill up the bottle, but it tells you where you need to stop on the bottle itself. You prepare that, you shake it, make sure that the powder has dissolved and you place this in the refrigerator because um, patients have said it tastes a lot better when it is cold. Okay. So once you have your prep preparation solution ready, you put it in the refrigerator and then you focus on drinking your liquids. Every eight hours, we want you to drink at least one bottle of water because it's important that you stay hydrated for this procedure. Although we don't want you to eat, we want to make sure that you're nicely hydrated. 5 p.m., the day before your colonoscopy, you want to pull out your bottle again. You want to pour your solution into a cup and you can have ice in the cup and then you drink that. You can drink this every five to ten minutes okay? until you reach about half of the solution bottle. Okay? Once you're done, it should take you about an hour and a half to two hours to drink half of the prep. We want you to take your time in drinking this. You drink half of it, you put it back in the refrigerator so it, so it can remain cold. You're going to go to the bathroom very frequently after you drink this solution. So stay close to a bathroom. Stay home and stay close to a bathroom. It's going to clean you up. And that's perfectly normal if you have diarrhea because that is what's expected because it's cleaning all of the debris out of your colon in preparation for your colonoscopy. Now what you want to do is six hours before your colonoscopy, you want to bring back this bottle. You want to finish it. Take your time again in drinking it. A glass every five to 10 minutes until you finish the entire bottle. You should finish this at least four hours before you come in for your procedure. That is extremely important that you complete the entire bottle of your prep. Once you're done, you wanna give it time again so you can go to the bathroom and make sure by the time you're done, your, your, what's coming out of your colon will be more like a yellow colored. Okay, there should not be any particles um, in, the, in what's coming out in your stool. It should be nice, clean, and clear with nothing. It could be yellow, but that's okay. All right, what you don't want is solid things coming out of your colon. Once you're done, you just want to make sure that your ride is ready because the day of your procedure, you will receive um, anesthesia and because of the anesthesia, you'll need someone to take you home, a responsible adult to take you home afterwards. They don't have to come in with you, but they have to leave with you. The important piece is you're going to need to take your medications, extremely important, your blood pressure medication to be specific before you come in with just a sip of water. You take your medication and then you're ready to come in for your colonoscopy. Thank you for listening, and again, congratulations in taking the important step in becoming more healthy, and thank you for allowing us to care for you.